Coming to you live from the DGSN studios, this is the game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic-Tac-Toe. Now, here's your host, the star of Tic-Tac-Toe, Brandon Scruggs. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Tic-Tac-Toe. I'm your host, Brandon, and thank you again for tuning in. Well, folks, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. The finals of the Season 1 Tournament of Champions here on Tic-Tac-Toe. We got our two remaining players in the tournament still standing here with us, so let's meet them now. First off, starting in the starting in the exposition in this game, who's uh, so far this tournament, I believe, if I check my math correctly, has earned herself $3,600 so far in the tournament and has won the right to be X in this first game here. It's Erica. Erica, welcome back. Hi. Thanks for having me again for the final time of this I season. Know. I was say, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a wild and crazy season, but you, I had a feeling you would be one of the two finalists standing here tonight. JVD gave me a run for my money. Know, that, Just that, saying. That, that game could have been either oh. way. If you haven't checked it out yet, go look it up on my channel. It's probably in the playlist that you're watching right now. But anyway. Go watch that first. No, watch that first, <laughs> then come back here, and you'll see how this all ends up. But anyway, mm -hmm. are you ready for the finals? I'm ready. Let's go. All right, playing against you in the circle position so far this tournament he was our number seven seed coming into the tournament, has earned himself so far $3,400 in cash. We have Peach. Peach, welcome. Oh, boy. Well, you know, it's kind of good to be here, Brandon. Mm -hmm. I really actually kind of didn't see myself getting this far. Yeah, I was about to say, did you think all those month, many months ago when we started this, you'd be one of the final two standing here at the end of the season? <clears throat> Especially during the slump towards the end of the season. Yeah, I kind of had a little hope going into here, but hey, things mm -hmm. happened. They did. For the better. Yeah, that, that they do. Well, now that I'm here, I think I'm just going to have fun with it. Well, that, that's that's the whole point Yay. of us doing this. That's exactly what we want you to do is we want you to have fun. We want you to have fun with it. So it's all good. But anyway. Yeah. All right, guys. This is the final here of Tic Tac Doe. Pretty much we've gone back to normal gameplay. I have randomly selected nine categories to throw up on the board. Everything is pretty much up for grabs and available to you this time. We are going to play a best two out of three format. First one of you to win two games of Tic-Tac-Toe wins the, wins the tournament, becomes my season one champion, and you'll both have a chance to go on to play, face the dragon. For a chance to earn a whole lot more cash. Now I will tell you this right now. For both of you making it to the finals right now. You're both guaranteed at least. Walking away with no minimum less than $100,000. So that's yours guaranteed no matter what. Winner however. Get, walks away with a quarter million dollars. With a chance to turn it into a full million. But we'll talk about that later. Right now, what we need to talk about are the first nine subjects that you guys are going to be playing for in the tournament in the Season 1 finale. So let's take a look at them now. Your subjects for this first game are... We have the secret category. We've got sports, science, music, general knowledge, food and drink, geography, the top ten, and double or nothing. Of course, you know, the secret category doubles all the cash in the pot that could help determine who may have the X or O position in the final game should we have to go to a best of three. Of course, you know the top ten is a top ten list category. I give you a category with ten answers. You give me the highest answer possible. You get the box. And double or nothing, you have a chance to earn two boxes in the same turn. Okay? With that all said, let's get right to the gameplay. Erica, you're the X player for this first game. So you get to start first. Where are we going? I'm going to start Ollie and go with Double or Nothing. Double or Nothing, right? On the lower left-hand corner, okay? Chance to earn two boxes in this turn. But first, you must answer this question. Uh, 
Erica, in which movie does Eddie Murphy star as Prince Akeem? Oh. Oh. I was just talking about this. Blah, blah. Eddie Murphy is a great actor, by the way. That he is. The movie, the whole concept of that movie was the person was, the prince was coming to America. So, coming to America? That is correct. Very good. Now, you could keep that box or risk it and go for double or nothing. What would you like to do? I'm going to take food or drink, please. Food and drink, all right. Right above it there, food and drink. Chance to get both boxes at the same turn here. If you can answer this food and drink question. All right, Erica, what name is given to beef tenderloin coated in pate and duck cells, wrapped in a puff pastry, and then baked? And what's the name of a beef tenderloin coated in pate and duck cells, wrapped in puff pastry, and then baked? For both boxes, name the dish. That was a long, long sentence. Um, but because it's beef tenderloin, the only thing I can make of it is, um, oh God, a beef wellington? Beef wellington is correct. Very good. Nicely done. Both boxes are yours there. $400 in the pot early on. Let's shuffle. Peach, you definitely got your work cut out for you on this one. You're telling me. Uh, the only category I can possibly take here is food and drink for the block. Let's, so let's right, go there. food and drink question. Get this right. You'll have a block of Erica vertically. True or false? Wow. It's true or false, Peach. Um, true or false? In Salt Lake City, Utah, all TGI Friday restaurants are closed on Fridays. <laughs> In Salt Lake City, Utah. That's oddly specific. So I'm going to say true. No, I'm sorry. It's actually false. <laughs> they, are, they are open on Fridays just like every other TGI Friday season. <laughs> It was, it, was, it, was, it was in regard to a, a sort of religious thing. Like Mormonism, mm -hmm. they, they go to church on Fridays, so they close on Fridays. But that's not the case here. All right. Okay. All right, $400 in the pot. We shuffle. Erica, this could be an early break for you. No. More food and drink. All this, all this okay. talk of food and drink is making me hungry. <laughs> all right. That's what I did before I came to the show. Eat. Luckily, I just ate. Yep. Mm, I know, right? All right, Erica, get this question correct, and you'll have tic tac toe and game one of this best two out of three series here. All right, here's your question: What vegetable garnishes a Gibson? Again, what vegetable garnishes a Gibson? For tic tac toe and six hundred dollars, name the veggie. I don't even know what that is. That makes two of us. Okay, so. Uh, sounds like a meat. Vegetable, maybe a carrot? I don't know. No, I'm sorry. Incorrect. The, the, no the idea. veggie we're looking for there is an onion. It's an onion. All right, oh. Peach, you've been saved. It's $400 remains in the pot as we shuffle. For the time being. All right, Peach, where are we going? Ooh, there's something I like. Let's go music for the block. Right, going with music this time. Get this music question correct. You will have a block. All right, I gotta make you think about this one here, Peach. What? Oh, what boy. is the first? What is the first four-letter word? In the first verse of the Star Spangled Banner. Again, what is the first four letter word in the first verse of the Star Spangled Banner? For the block, give me the word. Uh, 
I'm thinking. I have an idea already. My answer is the word what. What is correct? You got the right word. Nicely done, sir. $600 in the pot. I was not sure if you were going to get that or not, but well played. All right, 600 in the pot. We're going to shuffle the categories once again. And Erica. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Science. Erv, one of her favorite subjects all season long. Oh, boy. All right, Erica, it's a two-part question, of course. You'll get a little extra time to think about it. Again, this is for that center box. We add $300 to the pot. All right, first off. First off, Erica, once claimed to be invented by a by a Charles uh, by a Charles Monkey, what tool was actually invented by Loring Coase in 1840? Again, once claimed to be invented by a Charles Monkey, what tool was actually invented by Loring Coase in 1840? That's the first one. And the second one is, what kind of doctor delivers babies? Again, what kind of doctor delivers babies? Those are your two questions. Here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Erica, which one would you like to answer first? The second All one. All right, what kind of doctor delivers babies? He usually is by an OBGYN. Um, or a gynecologist would have been. I think we're gonna we're gonna have to um I'm gonna have to check to make sure. Um but I believe you the question. No. <laughs> Let me just check it here just a minute. You said OBGYN or a gynecologist? Okay, yeah. yeah. The, the, full, the full name is obstetricians, which is what it stands for. So you are correct uh. there. All right, so you've got that one right. And now for the center box and $300. Once claimed to be invented by a Charles Monkey, what tool was actually invented by Loring Coase in 1840? The center box, name it. The thing that makes sense is the monkey wrench. wrench. Is correct. Nicely done. You get the center box. Nine hundred dollars oh. in the pot now as we shuffle categories. Okay. My friend just had a baby, so cheers to all people having babies. True. All right, Peach, where are you going? Oh, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna have to try double or nothing for the all block. Right, going double or nothing in. A momentary block. for a two-part question. <laughs> Let's see if we can get two boxes here. All right, Peach, first question here is, in the 1992 movie Aladdin, who provided the voice of the genie? Robin that Williams. Is correct. Now, you could take that and take a block, yeah. or you can risk and go for double or nothing. What would you like to do? Um, the thing that makes the most sense to me is to risk it and try music. music. All right. Get this question correct under music. It's tic-tac-doe. That'll be $1,300, and you'll win game one of the uh, Tournament of Champions finale here. All right. Here comes your music. Put your, mu you put your musical thinking cap on here. And tell me the answer to um, this. In what decade was the wah-wah pedal for electric guitars invented? 
In what decade was the Wawa <laughs> pedal for electric guitars converted? Is it the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, or the 1940s? Hmm. Well, I don't know. So I'm just going to go with the first answer that popped into my head before the answers came up. My answer will be the 1950s. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It was, uh, believe it or not, it was actually the 1960s is when the Wawa pedal was oh. introduced. Okay. Uh, Figured it was one so of I the other. I can't give you it, both boxes there. We've remained with $900 in the pot, and we shall shuffle the categories. It's worth a shot. Yeah, that was yeah, good, guys. Very guess. good. Oh. Erica. Yeah. Choices. Well, I don't like a red box right now. So, I'm just I hear you. I'm just going to take general knowledge. All me. right. Sure. Uh, in general knowledge, you get this one right again. Tic-tac-toe, $1,100, and you take game one in this best two or three series. Here is your general knowledge question. It is true or false, Erica, so 50-50 on this oh, one. True or false? Oh, no. Male students at BYU, that's Brigham Young University, need a doctor's note to grow a beard. For Tic Tac Dell and $1,100, is that true or false? How would I know? Because I don't go there. <laughs> and I'm not a man. But I'm going to say true because it's like wacky. It is wacky. And it is true. You got it. Tic Tac Doe. Good job, America. How the both of what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got it right. Yes, what you, was that? If you go to Brigham Young University, you must have a doctor's note in order to grow a beard. Go figure. So odd. That's so I know, odd. right? I'm sorry, to the guy to go there. Well, Erica, congratulations. You've got you've won the first game. You got yourself eleven hundred bucks. And Thanks, you take was... the lead one to nothing. But Pete, you're not out of you're not out of the finals yet, because we're gonna take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're gonna play game two, see if Pete can catch up right here on the Tic Tac Doe Tournament of Champions finale here. Folks, don't go anywhere. Welcome hmm. back to Tic Tac Doe. Here the Tournament of Champions finale. Erica has won won the first game, so she's up one to nothing. She needs one more to be our season one champion. Peach, you get a chance to catch up in this one. And this time, Peach, you'll be playing in the X position. Erica, you'll be playing in the circle position. And with that, here are your categories for the second game of Tic-Tac-Doe. And they are... Again, we have the secret category. History and politics. Language. Take a letter. Fun and games. People and places. The bonus category. Seesaw. And finally, we finish off with some television. Of course, you know the bonus category is a question with a three-part answer. Give me all three parts of the answer correct, and you will get another turn immediately. The seesaw category, of course, is a list category with ten answers. You're going to go back and forth giving me an answer you think that made the list. First person to miss or and their opponent will be able to give me a remaining answer correctly. Gets the box there. And again, of course, the secret category doubles the cash in the pot. All right, game two underway. Pete, you're playing in the X position this time. You get to get us started. Why don't we? I'll start with bonus category. Why Going not? Right after the bonus, trying to see if you can get that early advantage in the game. Again, using the box categories to your advantage here. All right, here we go. All right, Peach, I need you to name me three of the five members of the Spice Girls. Okay. I think Baby Spice. That is one. Posh Spice. That's two. One more. And Scary Spice. That's three. You get the box. The other, the other two that you can give me were um, Sporty Spice and Ginger Spice. 
man, I thought Sporty came to no wonder Sporty was came coming to mind, but I just couldn't connect it to yep, the spice. You gave me all three though, sir. Well done. Two hundred dollars in the pot, and you got Thank the you. bonus Thank category you. right. So that means you get another turn immediately. So let's shuffle, and you get to select again. 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 Nah. Let's take a letter. Take a letter. All right. Upper right hand corner. Here comes your take a letter question. How about that? All right, Peach. Your letter is U. Letter U. Letter yeah. U. What U are the memory glands of a goat? Um. Memory grinds. Would they be udders? You are utterly correct, sir. Well done. Four hundred dollars right. in the good job for the yes. pun. Thank you. <laughs> horrible puns all night. Click the like button for horrible puns. Anyway, four hundred dollars in the pot now. <laughs> Shuffle the categories. Erica, you're up. A poo. Hmm. Remind me. But is the bonus category get the extra yes. turn? Yes. Bon bonus category is a three-part question. You get it right, you get an extra turn immediately. Ah, boo. Okay, train in history and politics. History and politics and train. Well, maybe maybe that train knows a little something that can help you out here. I doubt it, but we'll see. History and politics in the center again. Two-part question. Uh, you need this for the block. And you and again, you will get some extra time to think about it. All right, first off, Erica, what Greek city has been referred to as the cradle of Western civilization and the birthplace of democracy? That's your first one. Your second one is what volcano buried the city of Pompeii under ashes and lava in the year 79 A.D.? Here's your questions. Here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Erica, which one would you like to answer first? Let's go with the first All one. Right. What Greek city has been referred to as the cradle of Western civilization and the birthplace of democracy? That Athens. Athens is correct. Now for the center box and three hundred dollars, what volcano buried the city of Pompeii under ashes and lava in the year seventy nine A.D.? Mount Vesuvius. Vesuvius is I correct. Agree. Nicely yeah. done. You get the center box. Okay. The block is made. Well played there by Eric. We have seven hundred dollars in the pot. We shovel the categories. <laughs> Peach, we're back to you. Uh, I'm gonna try. Oh man, I'm gonna try. What am I gonna try? I'm gonna try the bonus category. What the heck? The bonus category again worked well for you the first time. See if you come mm -hmm. lucky again with another bonus question. Here it is. Are you a football fan, Peach? Depends what kind of football uh, we talking NFL. about. Oh, okay. Then okay, yes. Okay, well then this should be relatively easy. I need you to name me three of the four teams that make up the NFC South division in the NFL. Three of the four teams that make up the okay. NFC South. I better get this. Carolina Panthers. That's one. The New Orleans That's Saints. That's two. One more. And the Atlanta you Falcons. You got all three. Nicely done. X, put an X in the box there. RIP to them in Super Bowl 51. I know. You know what the fourth one is? I think that's the Buccaneers. Correct. Uh, if I could give you bonus cash for it, I would. But uh, producer <laughs> says, no, I'm giving away a million, potentially a million dollars a day. So they said, all right, $900 okay. in the... Well, I don't yeah, play $900 them. in the pot. You got that bonus one right, so we're going to shuffle and you get another turn. 
Ooh. Nice. What do you want to do? So close. Um, you got a couple options here, the way I would see it. I do got a couple but it's options. But again, you're totally your choice. Mm hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do people and places. Going people and places. In corner, avoiding the red category like you owe it child support or something like that. The plague. <laughs> anyway. The plague. Okay. Here comes your people and places category. This falls under the places side of it. Which mm -hmm. European city is famous for its Latin quarter? For the box, name the city. It's Latin mm -hmm. quarter? Latin quarter. Flat out guess, Vatican City. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Okay. The correct city we are looking for in this scenario is actually Paris. Paris has a oh, okay. Latin quarter yeah. the city's famous for. That would not have been my second guess. All right, guess. $900 in the pot. We're going to shuffle. Eric, over to you. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> choices. Too many choices. <laughs> I don't want to do about that. It. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does the safe category have the extra one? I keep asking. No, it's bonus what you're looking for. Bonus gives you... Okay. Secret category doubles everything Correct. in the pot. See, saws the uh, list category. That's right. Like... Why are you doing this to me, Brendan? Um... I didn't do it. The categories randomly were selected there. You can, bl you can blame my CPU. <sighs> Blaming. I don't know what to do. Um, pick a category. That's what you should do. Do. I hate to do it, but that's the only way I'm going to make it work is Seesaw. I'm a Seesaw. Right. Okay. Seesaw <sighs> is in the upper left-hand corner. Now, God. scenario here is... Do it. If Erica, you get this box, you are, you will be correct, and you'll have the block. However, if Peach gets the box, it's tic tac toe, eleven hundred dollars for him, and the match will be all tied up at a game of peace. We'll have to go to sudden death tiebreaker. All right, and uh, I hate the boxes. All right, your cold. category for this seesaw question is famous Toms, Tommies, or Thomases. Again, famous Toms, Tommies, or Thomases. I got a list of ten, peop ten people here, and I believe, yes, they are all people whose first name is either Tom, Tommy, or Thomas. All right, Erica, okay. you pick the category, so you get your choice. Do you want to answer first or second? I'm just going to go. Okay. Let's go. Go for it. Don't Give blame me. A famous yet. Tom, Tommy, or Thomas. I'm just going to start with Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is on the list. He's number one, actually. Very good. Oh, nice. Pete. Interesting. I'm going to say Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is actually not on the list. Erica, you get the box of the block. You are kidding. Oh, seriously? That's it. Oh, I picked the right one first. I'll go through the whole list. I'll yes, go through did. the whole list here. Number one was Tom Cruise. Oh. Number two is Tommy Lee. Number three is Tommy Lee Jones. Fourth is Thomas Jefferson. Five is Tom Snyder. Six, Thomas Edison. Seven, Tom Thumb. Eight, Tom Secret. Nine, Tommy Hilfiger. And finally, Tom Jones rounds out the top ten. Oh, wow. Wow. Tom Hanks must have been 11. Yeah, this is... Yeah, maybe this is prior to Forrest Gump, I believe. But anyway, he did not make the list, surprisingly, but that was a very good answer. I would have said Tom Hanks as well. But all right, Erica, that worked out. I was thinking about saying Tom Hanks, and I decided well, not to. It worked out in your favor there, Erica. Got you lucky. got the block. You got $1,100 in the pot. Jeez. Let's shuffle the categories. Okay. All right, Peach, where are we going? Ooh. Secret category. With the secret category this time. All right. Secret category, get this question right. You'll have a block of Erica, and we'll double the cash in the pot to $2,200. Uh, 
Here comes your secret category question. All right, Peach, what was the venue, or let me, re let me rephrase this because this is worded horribly. What city was the host of the 1932 Summer Olympic Games? Was it Berlin, Paris, Tokyo, or Los Angeles? 32. My guess is Paris. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Was it Berlin? No, it was Los Angeles. L.A., that was the first, wow. uh, one of the first uh, Olympic Games America got to host was the Olympic Games in Los Angeles in 32. All okay. right, so no box. No box there. We still have $1,100 remains in the pot. We'll shuffle the categories. Erica, it's a break for you. Uh, I guess I'm going with history and politics for the win. All right, get this question correct under history and politics. It'll be tic-tac-toe, $1,300, and you will be my season one champion. Here comes yes. your question. Good luck to you. No pressure, right? No pressure, but it all comes down to this very <laughs> moment that you must capture to win for yourself. Is that enough pressure for you? I'm kidding. Yeah, let, let me let me let me stop acting a fool for a minute and just be like, okay, here's your question under history and politics. On May 19th, 1536, Anne Boleyn, the second wife of Henry VIII, is die, dies. How did she die? For tic tac toe and thirteen hundred dollars. Tell me. Anne Boleyn, wasn't she executed? Well, I don't know specifics, so I'll go from there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need more specific there. Was she hung? No, I'm sorry, I that's incorrect. I don't know. She was actually beheaded. She was beheaded. Uh, oh. So. Okay, I, I, I want to yeah, I wanted to give that one to you, but uh, the answer in the card shows beheaded, so I can't do that there. All right, so eleven hundred dollars remains in the pot. Game still continue, continues. Peach still alive as we shuffle the cap. Peach, where would you like to go? Okay. Uh, I know exactly where I'm going to go. Language for the block. One. Try again to block. All right, trying to get that box to uh, block Erica. All right, Peach. Arachnophobia is a fear of what? Spiders or other arachnids. That is correct. You get the block. Nicely done. $1,300 in the pot. Three boxes remain. We shuffle the categories. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Oh, process. Oh. Okay, where would you like to go? Okay. Huh. Okay. Bonus question, please. The bonus. I get this question correct under bonus. And you'll get another turn immediately. And you will also have a vertical block of peach. Here comes your bonus question. How ironic. Peach answered a question about a girl group. You get a question about a boy band. Yes. I need you to name me. Oh, I need no. you to name me three members of the group in sync. Oh my gosh! How did I know you were going to ask me that question? Again, next one on the I'm list. Not Couldn't. I'm just going right in a row here. You want the members? Yeah, three okay. of the five members of the of the former band in sync. I should say at this point. Justin Timberlake. That's one. He's still famous today. Joey Fatone. That's two. And Lance Bass. You got all three. You got the block. Nicely done. I could have named you all the members of the Backstreet Boys. You, I can't do know, that one you too. Know, you know the other two, Erica? By chance? Just for fun? JC. 
I don't remember his last name. And it's like Kirkpatrick. Yep. JC Chazé and Chris yeah. Kirkpatrick were the other two. You would have had them right. All right, good job. $1,500 in the pot. You got the bonds category right, so you get another turn immediately. Play the shuffle. All right, I was on a 90s kick earlier today. All right. Oh, shit. Erica? I guess we're going with the secret category because... I don't blame you. All right, going with the secret category. All right, get the secret category question correct. You'll have another block of each, and we will double the pot to $3,000. Right here comes your secret category question. All right, we were talking about we were talking about the Olympics just a little while ago, Erica. Let's see if you know this one. Which country's Olympic athletes sport the letters R S A on their vest? Again, which country's Olympic athlete sport Sports the letters RSA as their country's abbreviation on their vest. Is it Russia, Romania, Sudan, or South Africa? Well, the first one that came to mind was Russia. So you're going with Russia? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Um. It's actually that RSA stands for the Republic of South Africa. South Africa was the answer. Oh. Right. So I can't give you I can't give you that block there. We had we leave fifteen hundred dollars in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories again. Peach, break for you. Okay, I am going to take fun and games for the win. All right, get this question correct. Under fun and games, tic tac toe seventeen hundred dollars, and we will tie up this match. We'll have to go to a tiebreaker game. <sighs> Boy. The pressure I know is building in the room, and everybody's waiting with anticipation. As I am trying to find the next question on the list, where is? Okay. I uh, know I had to scroll like five, six times to get to the next one on this list here. Here, here, here it is under fun and games. Here's your question. <clears throat> On May 6, 1989, Magnum XL 200, the first roller coaster to break the 200 foot height barrier, was opened in what amusement park? Again, on May 6, 1989, Magnum XL 200, the first roller coaster to break the 200 foot height barrier, was opened in what amusement park? For tic tac toe and $1,700, name it. I'm going to say Six Flags. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Oh. It was actually Cedar, that was my Cedar Point. Cedar Point. Cedar. Okay. I didn't think it was the park at MOA or Valley Fair or any of the local parks. Not, not yet. All right. Okay. $1,500 remains in the pot. No one yet. So let's shuffle the categories. Eric, go over to you. <laughs> Secret category for that. Okay. Right. You try this again. Secret category it is. Again, get a, get this question correct. We got a block and we double the pot to three thousand dollars. All right, Erica. Which which star constellation appears on the flags of Australia and New Zealand? Again, what star constellation appears on the flags of Australia and New Zealand? Is it Capricornus, the Southern Cross, Centaurus, or Orion? Twice this one more time. Capricornus, Southern Cross, Centaurus, or Orion? Southern Cross. Right? Southern Cross is correct. You've got the block. We double the pot. Oh, no. $3,000 now in the pot. Back and forth. These two go on this one. Let's shuffle the categories. See what comes up. Peach, you got you get okay. television. Thank goodness it wasn't Seesaw. I was wholeheartedly expecting a red category to show up, but that's okay. If you get this correct, 
It'll be thirty-two hundred dollars in pot. We'll reset the board and we'll continue on with this type with this second game here of Tic Tac Toe. Okay, I'll certainly give it my best shot. Here is your question. Peach, uh, what actress was the star of the 2005 television show Fat Actress? For a tie, for a tie game, name her. <clears throat> fat Actress. You know, I don't think I'm familiar at all with Fat Actress. Mm -hmm. What actress? Mm. Uh, I'm just not. Reese Witherspoon? No, I'm sorry. Reese Witherspoon is incorrect. It was actually Kirstie Alley. Kirstie Alley was the oh. one there. All right. right $3,000 in the pot. We're going to shuffle. Erica, this category is all yours. It's fun and games. Fun and games, get this one right. Tic Tac Doe, 3200 bucks, and you are our, my season one champion. Fun and games is the question. Here it is. <laughs> Ironically, true, and true or false again. Oh, I love how these questions keep coming up in this category. All right, Erica, true or false? If done perfectly, any Rubik's Cube combination can be solved in 17 turns. For Tic Tac Doe, $3,200 and become my Season 1 champion, is it true or false? Seven. Yeah, it can be so any if done Seven. perfectly, any Rubik's cube combination can be solved in 17 turns. True or false? I feel like I feel like it's more than that so far. What was that? False. Tic Tac Doe, you're the winner, the champion. Oh. What? Yeah, I think it's 20. Yeah, I was like 20. It's something like, right. like something of those that facility right there. Well, congratulations, Derek. Congrats. First off, let me just say congratulations to both of you on playing a fantastic game of Tic Tac Toe. Because you you both rightfully deserved your spots here in the Tournament of Champions, and I am can congratulate both of you. But Erica, with that Thank win you. there, you are the you are the champion. You are my season one champion here on Tic Tac Toe. You've won another $3,200, and you've also won my grand prize of $250,000 in cash. That's all yours. Congratulations. But, Peach, you're not, go you're not going home empty-handed from this tournament as well. You've also won. You get the second place prize of $100,000. But what we're going to do, folks, is okay, we're going to give it. you guys one more chance to face that dragon in a rightfully respective manner here to see if you could turn your winnings into a whole lot more. Peach, let's start with you. Come on over here to Bonus Land. Finding the dragon is last, you know that. All right, right Peach. Oh, it's yeah. real simple how this works. You get to, uh, yep, you get yep. to a thousand dollars or more. Again, you you win the cash that's in the pot times the boxes as the usual. However, if you can find tick and tack on any of your two picks, you I'm going to double your winnings to two hundred thousand dollars. However, if you can go if you can go tick then tack then find the dragon in the center there, I will give you your top prize potential of $250,000. Yes. Quarter million dollars for okay. second That's place. what I want you to win. So we'll see. Okay, that sounds like 
a really big deal. I'll certainly try. Well, it is here. Chance for some big money on your final chance to beat the dragon. So if you're ready. <laughs> you know it for the season. I've been waiting all season long to do this. Say it with me. Dragons Dragons King. Dragons King. Dragons King. Against Dragon's Cave. Dragon's Cave. That would be box number eight. Let's see if he's home. <laughs> Behind box eight, we have four hundred dollars. Oh, okay. That's Bye. not a dragon. I'm lucky four hundred. I can't give you the quarter million, but you can win two hundred thousand if you can find ticker tack. Well, all right. Um. Okay, now that we've got Dragon's Cave out of the way, let's try box number two. Number two, top of the board, the little deuce behind two. Uh, There's the tick. Find me the tack, I give you $200,000. Uh, I feel like it's only poetic, so I'm going to go box number one. Number one, right next door, we want to see a tack behind box one. Nope, it's three hundred dollars. Okay. You need three hundred more or attack. So I have two chances to win out of six. We're gonna go with the next one. Next one's gonna be box number nine. Number nine, lower right hand corner. Let's see attack behind nine. Come on. Dragon stay up. That's a winner though! Yeah! That'll do it. Well, congratulations, Peach. That is $1,200 times the five boxes. It took the entire season. The five boxes that are up Yay. there, but you did it. That's going to be another $6,000 added to your winnings. You walk out of here in second place for the tournament, $106,000 richer. Congratulations. Ah. Thank you so Hi. much, Brandon. You're welcome. Let's see, where, let's see where the rest of the board was real quick. And you went to number okay. three, right on the other side oh. of your attack. On the other side. And the dragon was behind okay. box six. Oh, okay. Right. Well, Peach has got, him, Peach has got himself $106,000 for the season. And folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, our champion is going to take a hair shot at facing the dragon here, and let's see if she can walk out of here a million dollars richer right here. The conclusion of the Tic Tac Toe Tournament of Champions right after this. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back here. Oh, We're back here with our champion, our first season one champion, Erica, who, quite frankly, as I said, she's had to battle her way through the entire season, but clearly... The trivia prowess is with her in this case here. So congratulations again. You, you're leaving here no less than $250,000. But I'm going to give you a chance to see if you can walk away a millionaire here on Tic-Tac-Toe. And this is, how we, this is how we do it. Nine numbers, of course, up on the board. Make it real simple for you. Find the tick and the tack. I double your winnings to $500,000 if you can find it on your first two picks. If you can go tick, tack, or tack, tick, and then find that dragon in three picks, you walk out of here with a million dollars richer. That simple. All right? I'm not ready for I this. I know you're not, <laughs> but you have to be because this is the last segment of the show. After this, we all get to go on a vacation oh. finally. Yay! And quite frankly, I'm that. ready for the vacation. <laughs> Fluffy's getting a little irritated of having to work so much during this tournament. I'm sorry, Fluffy, but I love you. Well, anyway, let's get down to it. Nine numbers on the board. Again, you're looking to get to $1,000 or find Tick Attack. I'm going to do what a lot of people telling me to do this season. Seven. Starting with that lucky okay. seven. Hopefully it's lucky for you now. Show me a ticker attack behind box seven. Oh, oh, really? Wow. Good job. As long as like, I'm Fluffy. tired of working. Well, no more. I'm all done. All I can say is the dragon loves you too, Erica. Oh, uh, man. That, that happens. 
happens every time I say I love him. He just shows up. <laughs> just out of, cur- just out of curiosity, had that not been the dragon, what would your next pick have been? Three, one. Three? And one. Oh, you would have had a tick, but you would have been missing the tack. Oh, sure, sure, there. Where was the tack hiding at? Uh, it was box six. Okay. Okay. Well, Erica, can't give you any more bonus money. Can't make you a millionaire. But what I can say is congratulations. You are the season one champion, and you are walking away with $250,000. Congratulations. Well earned. Round of applause for Erica there. And a round of applause for Peach, too, because they both played fantastic. Yeah, please. Uh, well, boys and girls, children, baboons, weasels, and monkeys of all ages, that's going to do it for us. We are done. Thank you again so much for the continued support during this season of Tic Tac Doe. Thanks for letting me kind of experiment and try to take this show into my own hands here, but I appreciate the continued support on it. And again, make sure make sure you drop that like rating down below and subscribe because we will be coming back with season two later on this summer. Starting shortly after 4th of July weekend, we'll be back with season two. Some new categories, possibly a new set. I don't know. Depends on if we have it left in the budget at this point. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much. And thank you for your continued support here on my channel. I know only been only been at this at the time of filming this, today is actually my sixth month anniversary of being on YouTube. And, in six, and oh, I, it's, oh, a, boy. it's amazing that I managed oh, to goodness. generate 15,000 views off of my few videos in six months. And I couldn't do it without your support out there. So really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. And thank you. Brandon, for hosting this wonderful game of Tic Tac Toe. I, uh, I, I, I tried not to mess it up too much. It's... I'll tell you what, Brandon, before, before before we sign off, I want everybody to join me in giving Brandon three cheers. Ready? Hip, hip, hooray! Yay! Hip, hip, hooray! Yay! Hip, hip, hooray! Oh, Brando. <laughs> Brando. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way from you guys. I really wouldn't. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's it. We're done here. Thank y'all for watching Bye. Season 1 here at Tic Tac Doe. We'll see you in July for the start of Season 2. Meantime, between time, I'm Brandon Scruggs. Make sure you click that subscribe button down below for more great game shows here from MVG Productions. And we'll see you all in Season 2. From now, bye for now, folks. Vacation! This is Michael Gentry speaking for Tic Tac Doe, a DGSN Studios production in association with MVG Productions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.